What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today we have a mega monster, massive mail day. Just tons and tons of stacks of stuff that came in uh, within the last few weeks. Um, and I figured, you know, haven't pulled any really monster cards out of boxes lately, with the exception of that uh, case hit right there. That's probably one of the bigger cards we've hit um, out of a box pretty recently. But yesterday we didn't do all that great. So I figured let's make up for it and we'll do a mail day where we know we actually have uh, big cards coming out of all this stuff and some pretty unique stuff too um, as well. Um, I do have a card that I bought from eBay that went through that new authentication um, program that they've instituted for cards over a certain value. Um, so we'll take a look at that and talk more about that as we get to it. But let's go ahead and just start making our way through all this mail since there's so much of it. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that bell for notifications so you get notified whenever uh, we post some new stuff, which is pretty much all the time. We got a lot of videos coming this week. Um, and then if we see in the background there, again, threw up that uh, Jalen Suggs and that Alonzo Morning exquisite patch auto. Always try and throw some things back there that are uh, kind of shades of things that come in the video. So you know we got some big cards on our way. So we're starting off with a care package from Spurs Cards 21. Um, he needed some cards for his 2019-20 uh, Hoops premium stock set. So I sent him just a few that I had um, that I knew he still needed. Um, and I'm still trying to complete this 2020-21 Prism set. Um, and so he uh, very kindly sent me a bunch of cards. So thanks, Eddie, for these. Um, still, and I think I'm still like a few cards short of completing that set, um, even though I opened a ton of it. Um, still some ones I'm just uh, missing and haven't hit yet. Okay, so hopefully I can complete that set soon. Uh, next few cards here. So we got, uh, I'll open these both at the same time. I've actually kind of pre-ripped all these just to make it, just to make it easier. I'm not wasting time ripping open packages as we're doing the video. So these are the last two cards I needed for the Recon Rookie Review Red Parallel to 199 set uh, insert that I was putting together. Um, so the Kawhi and the Giannis were the last two that it, for some reason there weren't as many of these listed on eBay. So I had to wait until some got listed. And the Giannis, actually, there's two cards in here um, that I actually bought a lot of the base and the red numbered to 199. So I have an extra base of the Giannis. So this set is now complete. So stay tuned uh, pretty soon. If you checked um, Big J Basketball Instagram, uh, by the end of this week, I'll put up a photo of that full complete set uh, together. So now that that set is done, we can start working on some new ones. And I picked ugh, this up. And this is the Justin Herbert card is not the card. This is the card. Um, so a guy on Instagram said he had this for sale at a really good price. So, and he's actually, it's the same guy that bought uh, the last big lot of cards that I sold through in a uh, couple of Herberts, which is always appreciated. I don't really collect football, but I know Herbert is definitely one of the top rookies from that year. Luca Slam Hollow. Um, so I've only had three of these so far. I still have a lot of hoops retail to open. They're, actually, stay tuned tomorrow. We're going to do some hoops retail, a uh, blaster, and some fat packs. Um, so hopefully we can pull some more of these slam hollows. But I haven't bought too many of those yet just because I have some more hoops retail to open. And I don't want to buy all of them and then start hitting them <laughs> in packs when, uh, when I start ripping stuff out. Next package here is some break results from a whale of a pull. I've mentioned them before on the channel. Uh, they're on Instagram. They do... A lot of uh, budget price break. They have, they have huge breaks too. They also have some nicely priced ones, cheap random teams and things like that. So I, I like to jump in those every once in a while. Um, this one, I don't even think I even watched this break because I knew I hit the Pacers and no offense to anyone who likes the Pacers, but uh, I wasn't, uh, I know they didn't really have any big rookies or anything in the years. We got a TJ Warren mosaic, Malcolm Brogdon insert, Doug McDermott. I think this is red. He has non-numbered red hobby parallel. So yeah, nothing huge uh, in that, that break. But there are, I did get in another break of Elite. So I knew I was going to open a hobby box of Elite. Um, and I don't think I had ripped into it yet when I got into this break. Um, or maybe I had, I can't remember. But either way, it was uh, it was really cheap. It was only a two box break. I ended up getting four random teams for like a hundred bucks, I think, uh, for two boxes. The Thunder was one of the teams I hit. So there's a bunch of Thunder cards in here that we got out of those two boxes. I also had the Knicks was another team. I don't think I got any big Knicks cards though. Um, 
And I also hit the Pacers again, although Pacers is a better team for 2021 22 because they actually have a pretty decent rookie, uh, Chris Duarte. So Pacers, these are all the base cards. And I also hit the Pistons as well. And you guys know who was on the Pistons for this class. So these are all the base cards of the four teams that I hit. So let's get to the actual hits that came out of those two boxes. Uh, if you guys have watched Elite, you know it's not easy to pull some of the bigger cards, um, especially the rookies. However, I managed to pull some pretty decent stuff. Let me try and rip this off. Okay. Did get a Chris Duarte base rookie to $9.99. So nice numbered rookie there of Duarte. Also hit Miles Turner, purple to 49. Very cool looking card. I really like the, uh, the look of, of some of these parallels. Really cool looking card. And then I couldn't believe it, but Cade Cunningham, next up lenticular case hit. So I was shocked that I pulled this card out of just one box. Got into a two box break, unbelievably hit the Pistons and incredibly, I don't know why I, I'm having trouble. It's not looking quite as good. Oh, there we go. So you can see the lenticular there, but super rare card and not easy to hit at all. Um, could not believe it. And I actually, I missed the live break when they did this. I had to go back and watch it later. I almost didn't watch it. I was like, ah, I'll just wait and see what cards show up. Uh, but I went back and watched the recording and saw that I hit that. So that was incredible. Could not believe I hit that uh, ultra rare card like that out of just a two box break, uh, <laughs> getting into one break. Okay, that's it for break results. Let's get into the rest of the stuff that we got. So let's see what's in here. Okay, this one, I know what it is. This is a John Wallace Precious Metal. So for those not familiar with these cards, 96, 97 metal. The regular base cards were kind of silver on this side and have some you know different colors and things on this side. There's a Precious Metal parallel that's only one per box uh, with a pretty big set. So these are not easy to hit where it's just silver all the way through. Interesting story about this one. I had this card, I bought it off ComC for $9 about two or three years ago, maybe two years ago. Uh, someone saw it on my Instagram, said they were working on completing the set and would not leave me alone until I sold it to them, basically. I was not interested in selling it. I wanted to keep it for the PC. I know these don't come up uh, very often, but gave me an offer I could not refuse. It was insanely high. I couldn't believe someone was willing to pay that much for a John Wallace card, so I sold it. Uh, then later, one of these popped up on eBay in a set break and sold for an insane amount of money. Not as much as I sold it for originally, uh, but that auction ended at around $160 and I figured, oh my God, I'm never going to be able to afford to buy one of these back again. It's going to be too expensive. Then um, another one popped up on eBay, just not as part of a set break, just by itself. Nobody really bid on it. A couple bids, I won it for $8.50. So I basically bought it for nine bucks, bought it back again at the same price. And so the one that I sold for you know, a few hundred dollars, <laughs> Uh, that's pretty much all just uh, profit right there, which was pretty nice. So, but I'm happy to have that one back in the PC. Uh, next up, we got some morning stuff. This is a Prism 2015-16 teal parallel. Uh, this is number to 199. Uh, I really got it only, I don't really collect a ton of Prism parallels of morning, especially the more recent stuff, except for the one rainbow that I chased after. There's actually two of them. Uh, I really only bought it just for the color match. I just really like the way that this, I think it's technically called light blue, but it's a really good teal match with the jersey. So happy to add that one. Uh, we got some more Alonzo morning stuff here. And let me tell you how not to ship a card. Came in a bubble mailer, wrapped in some, I don't know what this is, pages of a magazine maybe. But the card was not even top loaded. Uh, and this was like a $50 card. It's a refractor East West. Well, these are really tough hits out of uh, tops and it's got Shaq on the back. So typically this morning stuff, refractors aren't too expensive, but whenever he's on a duel with Shaq, it always ups the price um, a lot. And actually was watching this auction. Um, there was two of them ending back to back days. I bid on the first one, ended up winning it for about 50 bucks. And then I watched the one that ended the next day right after and it sold for like $90. So. Definitely happy that I bought the, the first one that ended a little bit lower. All right, we got some more, some more morning stuff in here. Yep, we got a 
uh, Stadium Club 3x3. Three three. So these used to be called, I think, triumvirates. Well, definitely triumvirates, but I think they changed the name to 3x3, three three, but it's still the same idea. You can tell this one's a die cut, and there's, there was another card on this side, another card on that side that sort of fits uh, together. And this is the ultra rare version, the Illuminator, 3x3 three three Illuminator. So you can see it's uh, got a refractor shine on the front and the back. Um, the other ones have, uh, there's one that has a refractor shine on the front, but not on the back. And then the most basic version doesn't have any shine added to it at all. Uh, but again, really rare card that just never pops up. Uh, the Triumvirates from 97, 98, I put the full run together of the Luminous, the Luminescent, and then the Illuminator. This is the only one I have so far. Um, it's just the Illuminator, but I'm glad I got the hard one out of the way. So I should be able to find the other two pretty easily. So most likely at some point, I'll add uh, the other two from that set um, to that one. Uh, next card here we got from Bleacher Bum Cards. I think this is another Lonzo Morning. And this was another kind of rare one that I just, you'd never really see. This is uh, again, another die cut from Elite, 2012-2013. Uh, Gold, number to 24. So I have the Aspirations die cut number to 67, and now the gold to 24. I still need the status to 33, uh, which I think is, uh, has, is a red parallel. But this is a really awesome gold-looking card. I don't have a ton of gold morning cards, even though I have so many of his cards. So this one popped up on uh, eBay. I started watching it, and as soon as I started watching it, the seller offered a discount. And before I really even had time to think about it, I, would, I just bought it. I was like, you know what? Gold number to 24 from a set from 2012. These don't pop up very often. So that's one of the ones you just got to kind of jump on as soon as you see it. Okay, last, we got about three or four cards left and they're all pretty big. So this one came all the way from Germany. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, upper deck. That's Alonzo Mourning. Ooh, I see an autograph and boom, exquisite patch auto numbered to 35. So this one, Noble Nameplates, I bought that uh, a few months ago, my first Alonzo Morning exquisite, exquisite, exquisite patch auto. And this is number two. This one was a lot cheaper just because um, the patch isn't really a patch. It's just basically one plain black jersey, which is odd because if you look on the back, it says patch. So I'm not sure why they didn't put a better patch in this, but it's still an awesome looking card. Um, you know, NBA exquisite stuff from 03 all the way to, this was, was this the last? No, 07, 08, they did one more. I think they did 08, 09. And then after that, they started doing, um, maybe they did 09, 10 too, I can't remember. Either way, this was kind of towards the end of exquisites run. Um, but again, these are always real expensive. It's, they're sometimes hard to find. Uh, but the seller in Germany, again, started watching it. Uh, they, they had a pretty high buy it now on it, offered a, a significant discount on what their buy it now was. So I grabbed it as soon as I saw it. So super happy to add another exquisite patch auto. Um, just a couple more things here. We got one more. Okay, now we're on to our Ginobili stuff. We got a 18, 19 hoops. This is a red, uh, looks like a red checkerboard. And this is Super short print, numbered to only 15, three of 15. This is another rainbow that I didn't really intend to start chasing after, but little by little, I picked up a bunch. I think I have most of them, except for like the gold to 10 and the black one of one, but I think most of the rest, at least the serial numbered versions, um, I do have. So at some point I'll, I'll go through all those, maybe post a picture on Instagram of all the uh, those serial number copies that I have. Okay, just two packages left. And again, both pretty big cards that I was super excited. To get this one came from uh, Probstein. Um, I guess Probstein is working with ISA grading now. This came with the with the package, um, and we got ooh that looks like a gold refractor. Boom, Ginobili 0506 Tops Chrome Gold Refractor number to 99. Um, there was again there was a set break that Probstein was selling. They had all the singles, most of them from the entire set, all selling individually. Um, and I saw one of these sell recently and it keeps getting relisted. The description says it has very bad surface scratches. So I stayed away from the other listing that's on eBay for this one or that been sold and relisted a few times. Um, and this one looked really good in the scans. And again, whoever put this set together clearly took really good care of their cards because this one is in really great condition. Maybe we'll grade it at some point, who knows. But either way, 
first, uh, I have some Bowman Chrome gold refractors of Ginobili, but this is my first uh, Topps Chrome gold refractor. Okay, now our last package that we're gonna show off here. This is coming from eBay, CCG Sarasota. So CCG, I guess is their full name, but this is really CSG. This is uh, eBay doing the authentication now of cards. It's supposed to be $750 or more, or maybe $500 or more. This was not even close to $500. It was significantly less. It was less than half of that, uh, what the final sale price was. But for whatever reason, it went through the authentication process. So it took some extra time to come here. Uh, luckily though, I live in Florida and this went through Sarasota. So it only added me and it came priority mail one day. It really added like one day onto the, the shipping, but that's kind of just lucky that I live near where it was coming from. Might take a few, uh, few more days or a little extra time if you don't live uh, near where CSG is. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what this looks like. Haven't seen these unbox yet before. There's our eBay authenticity guarantee. Take this box out. And let's see what we got here. Your collection is now upgraded. So I haven't, you know what, let me see. I don't know if there's any like personal information on here. I don't think there is. Um, okay, this just goes through, yeah, authentic without a doubt. Kind of talks about what they're doing. And the card is another Topps Chrome Gold Refractor. So unbelievable that did not own any Ginobili Topps Chrome Gold Refractors up until this video. And we've gotten two in the same video. This is 0405, so we got 0506 right here and 0405 right here. So there's still a bunch I need. I would like to add the others as they become available. These weren't too, I mean, they weren't cheap at all, but they weren't quite as expensive as some of the other ones I've seen out there uh, from the other years sell for, but maybe I'll pick them up at some point. Um, there you go, void if damage, and it is, this is number 299 as well, 83 of 99. So there we go, two Ginobili Gold Refractors. So that is the monster mail day for um, for this time. Just going through some quick, quick hits. Um, got the Luca Hollow Slam. Finished this set finally. Still working on the Prism set. We got a big stack of really cool rare stuff. Gold Morning to 24. Super rare uh, Illuminator Shack Refractor with Morning. Some teal color matches. Precious metal, uh, super short print, case hit, some other stuff uh, from that same break. And then the biggest cards by far from this video. Oh, we also got, almost forgot this one, <laughs> to 15, super short print, exquisite patch auto, and two gold refractors for the PC. So this is one of the biggest PC mail days we've ever done here on the channel. So hope you guys enjoyed that. A lot of cool stuff. Was super pumped to show all that off. So hope you guys liked it. Um, and stay tuned, we got more stuff coming this week. We got some hoops, retail, blaster, and fat packs, and we might do a big uh, random pack video again at the end of the week. So stay tuned for all that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.